How are you? What's going on? Once again, I'm recording it nice and early Monday morning. Uh, you know, so I got to keep my freaking voice down. I don't want to disturb the construction. It's w- winding down, everybody. It's winding down. They painted the fucking walls. You know? Well, they got a couple little bit of electrical things, a couple bing, bang, booms, which, of course, will take for fucking ever. Um, I actually found out that I need a new electrical panel outside my house because uh, the one that I had was, uh, you know, just a hunk of shit. And uh, so I go, all right, so take the one off that I have and put a new one there, right? And this fucking governmental, right? (coughs) He shows up with his fucking tape measure. And he said there was no safe way for his guys to put a ladder up because I had this fucking palm trees thing, right? which aren't even natural, okay, to the ecosystem out here. Some jerk-off liked him way back in the day and stuck a fucking coconut on his boat or whatever the hell the seed is, right? (laughs) Is that the seed of a palm tree? Is it a coconut? Or is that the fruit it bears and within the coconut there's the seed? I don't know. (laughs) Um, So anyways, so he goes, nah, the only place we can stick it is right on the back of your fucking house where it's going to be the ugliest ever. And I'm like, well, I, no, we're not putting it there. And he's like, I work for the government. Right? what I say goes. Right? So he goes to get out there in his government-issued Ford Escort station wagon. Remember those fucking things? Um, so now I had to call a guy up, and he's got he's to cut this fucking tree down. And I know what you're thinking. Well, oh, wait a minute. I thought you were fucking... Uh, Oh, Billy Treehugger, you know? Oh, William Environment, uh, William Tell there, right? What was the fucking guy? The guy who wrote about uh, Lake Winnipesaukee there. Walden Lake. Who was that fucking boring that wrote all the poems? You know? Everybody was freaking out all the shit he was saying. He was plagiarizing the Native Americans. They already fucking knew. They already knew it was a great lake. All right there, fucking uh, twinkle toes with your stupid poems. The Native Americans had it right the way they were living. They lived off the fucking land. They didn't take more than they need that they needed, right? And when you got sick, some weird guy in your fucking tribe did a dance around you, and then you died, and that was it, okay? And it kept the herd thinned out. You know? He came out there with some the skull of a fucking snake or some shit on his head. Putting line dancing to shame. Is what this guy did. And then you fucking died. That's it. It was fucking over. Hey, you had a great 30 years. See ya. Whatever they did. That's not true. Geronimo, he lived for a while, didn't he? He used to get the senior citizen discount when he took the stagecoach. After a while, you know, once the white man took over. Isn't that what happened? How the fuck did I get on this subject? (coughs) Oh, yeah. Taking down the fucking tree. So now I got to take down this, this, and I got to take down this fucking tree. So basically, I'm like, all right, so what if I take out the tree that really shouldn't even be here, that provides shade in an area that, you know, never had shade because it's actually a fucking desert. And, you know, by the way, uh, what are we all doing out here? Huh? We're all standing around trying to get a fucking goddamn guest star on the reboot of fucking TJ Hooker. Why are we out here? This fucking place just freaks me out. Absolutely freaks me out. Um, anyways, uh, so now I got, I got that. So then whatever. So they got it. Then they'll put the panel on and then uh, my electrical system will be complete. I can actually turn lights on in my house and not worry that somewhere in my house there's a little flash of fire when I throw a switch because that's what was going on. That was going on while I had a minor gas leak. fucking unreal i'm gonna tell you right now whoever buys this house after me is gonna be they're not even gonna realize the goddamn gold mine that they walked into because all this shit that i'm doing does not add value to my house this is all shit that should have been done right to begin with you know it's just when somebody you know inspects your house they can't look into the walls all they're looking for is the sweat marks on the walls and the cracks and Can you roll a marble across the floor, you know, without even giving any effort? You know, they're just looking at shit like that. You know, 
Who's kidding who? They go walk on your roof. They go up there and they have a sandwich. They rub their balls for a couple of seconds. Oh, that's pretty good of me. And leaves. And that's it. What's he going to get a bad recommendation? I don't even remember who it was. You think I can find that guy's business card to warn other people? Oh, by the way, this guy came back with a little glint in his eye and said, this is a great house. You guys are going to be very happy. Congratulations. You, you got yourself a great house. Um, anyways, so whoever comes here next, and this is the thing, they won't even appreciate it. Just like the rich kid's son, you know? The son of a guy who fucking pulled himself up by his bootstraps, you know, got into insider trading, you know, fucking bootlegged some booze across the fucking goddamn whatever the fuck it is. One of those great lakes. Oh, this lake. It's fucking great. <clears throat> right? Then he goes out and buys some palatial estate. He gets himself a trophy white. He gets on top of her. Right? Boom. Nine months later, here comes this fucking jerk off. He's born with one of those fucking, uh, what do you call the, the one little piece of glass in your eye? Not a false eye, a monocle. He doesn't get a rattle. He doesn't get a baby fucking bear. They give him a monocle. That's how fucking rich this kid is. And he actually has a little fucking a pocket watch. He's got a little pocket in his diaper. That's how much money this fucking kid is born into. You think he gives a shit? He sits around and he's bored, right? Grabs a handful of molly and starts rubbing up against the suit of armor in the fucking house, right? That's what the fuck he does. You think he gives a shit or even, he even fucking knows that he's got state-of-the-art, state-of-the-art fucking electricity and, and, and copper piping going through that fucking 9,000 square foot cabana? No. He doesn't. Gee, Bill, you're kind of making yourself out to be a martyr. I am. Anyways, look at this fucking shit. Seven in the morning, I'm already getting fucking text messages. Just never fucking, it never fucking ends. It never ends. So anyways, so that's the latest thing. But this is the thing. We got the hardwood floors in. And a couple of you guys said, you know, after you've been bitching about this for so long, you better sense, you better put up some pictures. You know what I say to you? Fuck you. You're not seeing one goddamn picture of my downstairs. I am painting a picture with the beautiful words of this wonderful language. <laughs> no, I'm not showing you what the inside of my house looks like. You want me to upload what the inside of my fucking house looks like? So then what? You guys can say it looks like shit and that I got ripped off and that I'm a fucking big-headed moron? Do you think I don't understand how you guys operate at this point? I may have a Charlie Brown fucking head, but if you think I'm going to walk up and try to kick that football again, you're out of your fucking mind. All right? So anyways, this is the Monday Morning Podcast, everybody. If you're new to it, welcome. 